In year two under head coach Brian Flores, the Miami Dolphins made great strides in their rebuilding process. However, the one problem the Dolphins face is at quarterback. Throughout the 2020 season, Miami played both Tua Tungavailoa and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Unlike his rookie classmates in Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow, Tungavailoa didn't establish himself on the NFL level. The Dolphins could help their young quarterback by signing Antonio Brown. There's absolutely no arguing that Brown is one of the most prolific wide receivers in NFL history and a future first ballot Hall of Famer. He's a seven-time Pro Bowler, four-time first-team All-Pro, and the most productive pass catcher of his generation. Despite only playing the equivalent of nine NFL seasons, Brown currently ranks 35th on the NFL's all-time lists for both receiving yards and touchdown receptions, and 28th all-time in receptions. A dynamic playmaker and sur surgical route runner, Brown has 841 receptions for 11,263 yards and 73 touchdowns in just 131 career games. Miami didn't have any receiver surpass 1,000 yards receiving last season. This is a feat Brown accomplished in six straight seasons from 2013 to 18. While wide receiver Devontae Parker and tight end Mike Jasicki are good players, they're not as talented as Brown. Tunga Vailoa is used to playing with immensely talented receivers he can rely on. During his time at the University of Alabama, Tunga Vailoa played with Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs, both of whom were both first-round picks. Not to mention, Devonta Smith, who won the 2020 Heisman Trophy, as a receiver. By signing Brown, the Dolphins' ability to evaluate Tungavailoa will be easier. If he can't take them to the playoffs after playing with a true no. One receiver then he might be their franchise quarterback after all.